in this podcast episode, I give you an intro to the podcast itself, why these topics are so, so, so close to my heart, and most importantly, why you should invest your time as a doctor in listening to this podcast, especially if you are actively seeking alternative and diverse careers. So let's go. Let's face it, burnout amongst doctors is sky high and we're actively seeking other ways to make the most of our transferable skills beyond the usual career pathways. Welcome to Disrupting Doctors' Careers. I'm your host, Dr. Abena Bubbers jones and I'm on a mission to connect one million doctors across the world with the best in diverse career opportunities. So... I started Medic Footprints in 2014 and at that time in order to get ahead and share the news about what I was doing and why it was important I just put myself out there shamelessly which is quite unusual for doctors to do if you're in the UK at least. So conferences, meetings, events, Twitter, you name it. And most of the time, I was greeted with, you know, wow, there are other options. Wow, what what kind of options are there? And those were usually from other doctors that really got it. However, as you know, there's always another side to this. I would come up against some resistance with... I would say other, usually non-clinicians or non-doctors, usually NHS related or NHS linked. The feedback I'd usually get when I tell them that we were looking to really raise the visibility of diverse career and alternative career opportunities, they would say, you know, that's great, but, you know, we can't really work with you. Because we don't want to be associated with being seen to take doctors away from the NHS. Yes, taking doctors away from the NHS. So I wasn't surprised about that kind of mindset. And to be honest, even though that was in 2014, that still happens. Not so much, but it still happens. And hey, like, I totally understand the concern But it also ignores a really key fact that doctors are actually leaving their jobs of their own free will. Now, I I know for some people, you'd be surprised that doctors, they have capacity to make their own voluntary decisions or choices on what they want to do for themselves. Yes, they do. Um, but in most cases, what they don't want to do. And as a result of things that have happened more recently, for example, we see more and more doctors burnt out. And as a consequence, they walk out with their feet. So if a company decides that they want to hire some doctors, say from the NHS, and they successfully do that, it's really important to remember it's a two-way street. The doctor has made a conscious decision to go to that interview and say, hey, this company is offering me more than what I'm getting now for various reasons, and I will go and work with them. And the company is saying, we've interviewed this doctor. We think they would be a good asset to the team. We'll take them on board. I know that some people do forget that doctors have their own free will here. But the question is, why have they forgotten that? I know that doctors, especially the way we've been trained, we are part of an institution, but we are definitely not just a number or a statistic. We are talented and ambitious, in many cases, human beings who all joined medicine and healthcare to really help and support 
patients. That's why most of us decided to go into medicine. So going back to the comment about me trying to take doctors away from the NHS, in some ways I was being accused of disrupting the medical careers landscape by raising the visibility of existing opportunities to doctors in a way that simply made sense to them. So I know this means that as a result, doctors may not finish their training programmes or might even develop portfolio careers or might even join other medical careers that do exist that don't necessarily fit in to the usual clinical career pathways. But the reality is, the outcome is that we are helping doctors to find career opportunities that mean that they are happier, they are healthier, and they are able to make the impact that they want to make in a career that they choose. And that translates to patient care. I mean, who wants a burned out doctor looking after a patient? Nobody wants that. But the reality is, you know, a substantial proportion of our medical workforce are burnt out and they're suffering from significant mental health problems. And we see that with the increase in referrals to organisations like Practitioner Health, which is a bespoke mental health service for doctors in the UK. Medical careers were generally designed to be a one-size-fit-all pathway. This fits into workforce planning, allocating doctors into the areas where the population needs are the greatest. But we know that any one-size-fits-all solution is not a sustainable one. And this will continue to be a problem if we look forward at the future of work. Just like disruptive innovations, where an innovation transforms the way things are done to make it more accessible to a broader market, we are disrupting doctors' careers transforming the way we think about doctors' roles in the wider healthcare system and society as a whole. Doctors represent one of the most talented workforce we have on this planet. Therefore, it's essential we use their transferable skills and ensure that they reach their utmost potential for the benefit of everyone. And the way that I see it, is that this mission can only be led by doctors themselves. So if you like what you hear, I welcome you to join me on a mission to explore the best in diverse and alternative careers for doctors. And most importantly, understand the mindset and tools required to succeed in any career move. So listen to this podcast, Sign up to our mailing list, which is medicfootprints.org forward slash join our mission. Join our premium membership where we have hundreds of webinars and content that is designed specifically for doctors who are proactively looking for ways to diversify their careers. And if you're looking to hire or raise the visibility of your company to doctors, email our team which is team at medicfootprints.org. See you soon.